Geralt. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Hmm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor, but the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then. And we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. The Lodge of Sorceresses has been outlawed throughout the continent. Joining them means facing persecution, always being on the run. Kings die, realms fall, but magic endures. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you. But that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... Let's get some fresh air. So? I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. I could use a little rest myself. Good idea. Get some sleep. Geralt? Geralt, wake up. Uh, what? Yen? Something wrong? Wake up. Sit with us a while. Triss? You here too? What's, uh, going on? We need to tell you something. Something's not right. What are you up to? Don't be nervous. Yen and I, well, we talked and concluded... That we've wasted much too much time fighting over you. Meanwhile, we'll probably soon face the Wild Hunt. Most likely battle Aridin himself, and who knows what could happen. So, we decided we must try to make the most of the time we have left. Together. Together? Go on. We've always loved each other. You're in love with us. There's no point in fighting it. We must enjoy what we have. So, we've prepared something special. Come by the Kingfisher this evening. Bring wine. Lots of wine. See you later, love. 
I can't wait. This will be interesting. I'd lost hope that you'd appear. We couldn't wait for you to show. What about me? Don't I get any? You just got exactly what you deserve. Hey, this isn't funny. Come back. Triss, Yang. Well, well, ladies did quite a number on you. Do a number on you if you don't. In your shoes, my friend, I'd be promising mounds of gold, not making threats. Untie me now, or you'll need that gold to replace your teeth. <laughs> You'd have to catch me first, and you don't exactly look like you're getting out of here anytime soon. Dandelion. All right, all right. Sorry, don't often see you like this. Couldn't resist. So, how do you feel? A bit numb, I bet. Got what I deserved. Should have known it was too good to be true. You certainly should have. Oh, Geralt. How little you know about women. Did you really think you could have them both? You have a great deal to learn. Glad to give you some advice if you want. Think I'll pass. I'm off to see Avalok. Wanted a word, apparently. Geralt?
Service. See you later. That famous boy, what's his name? The celebrity. I think he'd throw even him in a dungeon. expected this of you. You humans have mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask. You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know. So she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Skip the guessing games. I'm tired. The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. Regicide. Serious stuff. Take it not many know about this. Of the living? Only I. And Eredin, of course. Question is, can you get Gels to believe you? Nothing you need worry about. Haven't mentioned killing Gels. Such drastic means are not always necessary. So you probably plan to offer him a deal. Brilliant deduction. Bravo. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the ML. Think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways, that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Oh, well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. The passage is here, past this wall. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. 
I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, you must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of the sea? Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. suffocated.
vandaag. Don't look terribly inviting. <coughs> Damn it, gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. <coughs> this.
place like this. Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy oven sage. The snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridin's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridin start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dara, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek. But I still don't know why it's so important. Eridin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly.
last. This Tianalia, the Palace of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace. Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than you. No reason to tarry. Come. I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana, Spain, at Coman Maca and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crivan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Got any vodka? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here, quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me, so I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Tired of your pseudo-sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? To the world of the Enche. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, sincere elf. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneiromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. 
We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Say to Skelliger and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tien Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalark knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let girls go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe girls will keep his word. Withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Gather everyone and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skelliger. 